Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I blog over at kjaggers.com. That link is below as well as other links to Facebook and Instagram. I would love it if you followed along on all of that. So it is a rainy day here. It has rained for two days straight. I'm trying to get caught up on videos and share some videos that I have really missed sharing with you guys. So today I'm going to take you through some of my tea favorites, some new favorites, some old favorites, and um, there will be discount codes for certain teas below just in case you're interested. But if you're somebody who doesn't really like tea, um, especially hot tea, you might want to click off this video and go find another one to watch. But I absolutely love tea, and it, it's so delicious. I have actually kind of changed my teas around a little bit. Less caffeine, um, definitely more um, like organic kind of sweeteners, opposed to just a white sugar. Um, and I have a bunch of teas to share with you. Um, I've been drinking tea since I've been a little girl. I love it. And there are so many good properties um, to you know, good teas. There are so many good health benefits to it. So, the first company I want to talk to you about is Teamy. I hope I'm saying that right. And I recently got these to try out. This is the Teamy Profit, where you profit from, you know, everything you put in your body. And this is the Relax. And both of these are safe for pregnancy. And um, one of them has some natural plant caffeine. This one does. But these are so delicious, and it came with this little tumbler, and it has a strainer on top, and you can find all these on their website, and I will definitely link that below. I love this tumbler. I've used it a ton of times. It's got a little wrist clasp on it, so you can just take it with you, and the strainer keeps the loose tea down here, you know, and not coming out into your mouth, and these teas are really, really good. Um... I tend to add honey. Um, this one's a little more grassy, and this one up here is just a little more fruity. You can kind of see. This one is, um, it has peppermint, yarrow, lavender flower, chamomile, lemongrass, orange peel, and varian root. And I really like orange in my tea. I don't know why, um, especially with my pregnancy right now, I'm craving a lot of orange flavored items orange fresh oranges fresh lemons and this one's really good this one here has this one has green tea peppermint leaf goji berries red dates nettle leaf um something else i can't pronounce and gander maria i don't know if i'm saying that right this one's super good too so both of these are great i'm working with this company now so definitely check them out if you love teas because they have so many and they're really really good i love them and i'm so thankful that um, they sent those products to me because it's always nice to try something new you might not know if you're going to like a particular tea or not but you know it's really easy to go into the store and read the boxes and see if there's anything that actually stands out to you. You don't just have to try your regular old black tea or, you know, God forbid, a Lipton tea bag for a hot tea. But there are so many good teas out there right now. One of my favorite collections right now is the Private Collection. And there's one I'm missing out of this collection, I think. But my absolute favorite is the Cranberry Blood Orange. This tea is so delicious. This is my second container of it. Can you see the orange peel in it? It smells amazing. It is a black tea, and so it definitely has caffeine in it. Um, orange peel and dried cranberries. So delicious. One of my absolute favorites, and I still drink a little bit of caffeine right now, and this is one of those items that I absolutely drink um, probably... Well, for a while, it's probably twice a day. Now, it's probably twice a week. Really, really good. Another one from that same collection is the Forest Fruit. This one is actually caffeine-free. But all these um, from Private Collection are loose teas. Smells so good. This has hibiscus apple, rose hips, elderberry, dried apples, blackberry leaves, natural flavors, black currant, dried raspberries, 
and you can kind of see look at that beautiful tea you see that oh my goodness so delicious then my other one from that same line is the jasmine loose leaf tea and this has just simply jasmine and green tea and this I love jasmine tea I'll show you one of my oldie but goodies in a few minutes but caffeine free good for you no sugar no carbohydrates nothing bad no caffeine I think I just said that but it's delicious and it's made from hand plucked full leaves of high grown green tea scented with jasmine flower buds it has a delicate jasmine fragrance and a mellow green tea flavor I should have read all of these real quick this one on the forest fruit says um, that it's a bounty of berries and sweet dried fruit with classic notes of hibiscus. The infused tea has a bright red color and a fruity berry flavor that is delicious, hot, or iced. And this really is good. This is, I forgot to mention that, this is really good cold as well. And then with a cranberry blood orange, let me read that one to you really quick. It's a blend of full leaf Indonesian black tea with orange zest orange zest and dried cranberries. They infuse leaves have a mellow orange and berry flavor that is delicious hot or cold and I actually prefer this um, hot. So those um, are from private collection that I that I um, love. So a couple other ones that I love are from um, Harney and Sons and this one is the Vanilla Camaro and they are little bags. Um, they do have good tea in them. It, you know, a lot of times with, with tea in bags, you get the worst little bits and pieces of the tea leaves. But you can tell with this tea in these little bags that the tea is rather large. The leaves are rather large. It smells delicious. And this is one of those nighttime teas that I like every once in a while, like instead of a dessert. And it's a black tea, definitely have caffeine. Um, but it's had the um, caffeine actually removed out of the black tea. Don't ask me how they do that. But it's got like this creamy, soft vanilla um, flavor. Um, and it says it's a light-bodied black tea with naturally sweet aroma and taste. And so this is a really good tea. And I call it basically my dessert tea. Because sometimes after dinner, you want something a little sweeter. And this is a great option instead of, you know, a piece of cake or something like that. Again, if you're not loading these down with sugar, it's, a, it's pretty healthy. Now, this one is not my favorite. But it's one that I like. And I have to be careful um, because the ingredients are strong to me. This is the Harney and Sons Hot Cinnamon Sunset. And while I like it... It's just so strong. Um, I don't let it brew for that long because the cinnamon is really, really strong to me. Um, it says a, remarkative, a remarkably assertive tea, and I would definitely say that. It's loaded with sweet and spicy flavors, and um, it's got black tea blended with cinnamon, sweet cloves, orange peel, and natural flavors. And honestly, more than the rose peel, I just smell... The cinnamon and this is a great holiday tea um, I like it I just don't usually grab it as often as I do some others so another really really good tea from Harney and Sons now Tezo makes some amazing teas and the ones that I like is the berry trifle and these are again tea bags but beautiful big tea leaves in them. They are big and um, beautiful. You can kind of see. And it says on this one, um, let's see. This is a black tea and it is um, caffeinated. It's got um, strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, dart, um, black tea, when slightly between, only to be caught by sweet smelling breeze whirling by. Um, it's got black tea, freeze dried berry pieces of strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, and natural flavors. It's really good. It's delicious. And I went through quite a few of these. 
really, really good. And, you know, I'm kind of, I'm trying a no-buy tea right now um, on my tea because I want to use up a lot of these. Um, but anytime I see a tea that I really, really like, I go for it. Now, another one from Tezo is the Gingerly Jasmine. I love jasmine tea. It's so light. It's so fresh. And this one, this one's really good. Um, this one, the caffeine level is two, which means they have this thing on the back. Um, 16 to 30 milligrams of caffeine. Um, this has ginger, which is a sweet zing, it says. The jasmine, which is a cool calm, and the touch of rose come together under bamboo trees to seek enlightenment. This has basically green tea, ginger root, jasmine green tea, rose petals, and natural flavors. And I really do like it. Um, you can see the little rose petals in it. You can see the jasmine and the green tea um, and the ginger. And it's just a favorite. And you can see I went through quite a few of those. Really yummy. Really, really yummy. Okay, so, another tea that I like, and I'm just kind of going through them in no particular order. I tried this little sampler from Xena's Gypsy Tea. It's got four different kinds of tea, and they're all really good. I haven't had one that I don't like. They are in these little discs. Mmm, smells so good. This is a Raspberry Earl Grey. This is delicious, full of caffeine. This is the Amberosa Plum. It is a white tea. Very soft, sweet, delicious. And I love these little samplers, especially for people who don't know which teas they like. If you can find one like this, and this is organic tea, um, if you can find one like this with different teas, it's really nice just to be able to test them out. This is the Egyptian Mint. Probably my least favorite out of all of them, but I've had a couple cups already. And then the bottom one is the Italian chamomile, which is great before bed sometimes and smells really good and delicious. And this little set was not even that much money. Um, really good, and it's a great option for anybody that you, you know, maybe want to give a get well present to or something like that. This and a really pretty, you know, coffee cup or tea cup would be a great gift for anybody. And the teas in this are so, so good. Now, an oldie but goodie is the Twindling's Earl Grey Tea. I prefer loose tea 99% of the time, um, but I also have this in bag form as well. And this is just a black tea. This one I haven't used very much out of yet. It's a black tea. Beautiful. Smells amazing. Tastes amazing. And it's just an amazing brand. Twindling's makes wonderful teas. Now, another one that I like and is very calming to my stomach um, is this Pure Leaf Green Tea with Mint. And it's an Indonesian green tea coupled with real peppermint leaves to deliver a refreshing, cool flavor. This has actually been pretty easy on my stomach. And, you know, I, I'm dealing with morning sickness and everything, you guys. So... Um, I, you know, I, it matters sometimes what I'm drinking and this does make my stomach feel a lot better. I actually have another one that does too that I'll share with you in just a minute, but this is not too strong. It's got the little pyramid bags. Again, nice tea. None of those little nasty pieces that are just little. Mm. And it's just mainly a mint tea. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now, I've got some boxes over here of different teas that I want to share with you. Now, uh, speaking of morning sickness and my stomach being a mess, and even if you're not pregnant, you know, there's days when we all have an upset stomach, and it's better to put something in your stomach that's going to make it feel better opposed to, you know, what I used to do, like Mountain Dew or Coke or something like that. And the Bigelow um, Ginger and Peach Herbal Tea is so good. This is my second box, and it's actually what I'm drinking today. It's got this amazing peach flavor, peach smell. I don't really taste the ginger a lot, but the ginger is what helps your stomach. And, you know, I do like, especially because I'm on the go a lot, and, you know, I work in different things, I do like them being individual and not loose because, um, 
I can just toss one in my purse and go with it. It takes about four minutes to steep one of these um, little bags. It's got peppermint, ginger, and marshmallow root. And um, also peach flavor. And they're so good. Um, I'm trying to see if what else they have in it. Um, peppermint, wild orange leaves, chamomile, natural peach and ginger flavors with other natural flavors. Ginger, licorice root, fennel, marshmallow root, and peaches. It's a great combination. It is so delicious. And you know, I think it's really important to put good things in your body as much as possible. We all love a Twinkie every once in a while or a cupcake, but it's better to put good things in your body opposed to you know high fructose high sugar items and this tea is just one of those things that just calms my stomach and it's perfect for dealing with morning sickness okay so i was talking about the twinlings loose tea here is the um, twinlings um, individual little tea bags and again perfect for travel perfect to throw in your purse and if you're somebody who doesn't want to deal with loose tea this tea is fine it's just an average tea in my opinion and it's not one that I reach for all the time but I still like having it speaking of twinlings and their tea this has been a favorite it has been a true favorite of mine this is the twinlings Earl Grey lavender black tea definitely has caffeine um, but the lavender is so delicious and I have I have really drank a lot of this and um, it's really good quality let's see what it has in it for you guys black tea natural Bergamot flavor with other natural flavors and lavender so this is Twinlings of London actually so is this so never mind they're all of London. But it's so delicious. If you love tea and you like a black tea, definitely try this lavender. You won't be disappointed. Another one that I've been enjoying for a bag tea, and I have more teas right now than what I've ever had, is the Telassi, I can't say it right, Sweet Rose Stress Relieving Caffeine Free Tea. It's very mild. Um, where's their ingredients? It's got chamomile, rose, lemon myrtle. It's got a little bit of the organic stevia leaf just to kind of sweeten it up. It's got holy basil and a couple other items that I can't really say. Um, but it's so light and fresh and smells amazing. It's definitely a favorite and I've reached for this um, tea many, many times in the past few months. Now, I tried this one at Laura's house. This is the Steep by Bigelow Organic Green Tea with Pomegranate. And that's what the box looks like. And this one has organic green tea, organic hibiscus, organic licorice root, organic rose hips, natural cherry flavor with other natural flavors, and organic pomegranate peel. Such a delicious tea. So good. Um, it is a green tea, which, you know, is pretty healthy for you and um it's just delicious and it's not too overpowering but you definitely taste the pomegranate in this one so one of my absolute favorites now this one here the enchanta plus um here it is it's it's one i got to feel a little bit better um it's has you know it promotes immune function and i think i got this when i was sick and I drank, I drank almost the whole box. Um, but it is a good tea. It's naturally caffeine-free herbal tea. And um, this actually says you steep it for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I don't think I ever steeped it that quite long. But the um, herbal power, it says, gets the immune system fired up. And um, this was used by Native American tribes for hundreds of years before it was introduced into Western herbal traditions in the late 1800s. Today, it's one of the most studied herbs, and that's the, in I can't say this right, Enchinta. Um, we love how pleasant tasting herbal blend supports the immune system. Um, I think it's definitely a mild tea, this one for sure. It's got a little bit of mint, if I can remember right. Um... 
And what else does it have in it? I don't remember. Um, it's really good. That's what I'm going to say. And if you're fighting a cold, this is something maybe you want to add to your arsenal to feel better. Now, I'm getting close to being done with the teas, but an oldie but goodie that you guys have seen a million times is the Mighty Leaf Organic Spring Jasmine. This is a little more natural. It's a little more grassy, if you will, but it's so delicious. And I have ordered this forever. I do not find this in my grocery store. I order it online. I only have three left. And I probably will have to buy this one again because it is just delicious. And I go through it all the time um, and really fast because it's really good cold as well as hot. And so I made this many times. It's got just a little bit of caffeine in it. It's a natural plant caffeine, which you know, sometimes you just cannot get around. Now, since many of you guys probably have not seen my last tea video, and that's been so long ago, I don't even know exactly what year without looking it up. There are a few different ways I drink my tea. Um, if it's a bag, you know, obviously I just have it in my cup. Mm, that peach tea is so good. And my Tiavana um, Perfect Tea Maker is something that I use a lot for my tea still to this day. I use like this little individual tea maker as well sometimes. And then for my loose teas, um, I generally use just this. And you just fill it up and pop it right down into your cup and your tea brews that way. And so, you know, making a cup of loose leaf tea is not that hard. You can find one of these little tea strainers basically at any grocery store. I think I have like three or four of these. And they just come in handy because loose tea generally is better than bag tea. It's bigger pieces of tea. Um, it's a better grade of tea. So I usually prefer loose tea. Um, but the bag teas that I picked out to share with you and that I'm currently drinking are also all really, really good, delicious teas. As for sweetening these teas, there are times I use a little bit of organic cane sugar. Most of the time, though, I use the organic pure and raw 100% honey. And it's a delicious way to sweeten things up on the natural side. I don't really like stevia and all of the natural or the, the artificial sweeteners. I just don't like them. Um, but I do love honey, so that is what I generally use to sweeten up my tea, um, and just a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half, depending on how serious my sweet tooth is acting that day. I'm trying to get better about drinking it without any sweetener whatsoever. This has no sweetener in it at all, and, you know, I'm just trying to back down off of the caffeine while I'm pregnant, and really I needed to do it anyway. And, you know, some of these teas obviously have caffeine, especially the black teas, but even some of them have some plant-based caffeine, and I think that's okay because for somebody who's drank caffeine for many, many years at very high levels, coming completely off caffeine would probably shock my system, definitely give me migraines, and be very uncomfortable for me. So still allowing myself to have some caffeine has really been good because, you know, I'm not suffering all the effects of just totally winging myself off of it. Again, the Tammy um, teas are so delicious. Definitely try these out, and you can find more on their website um, at tme.com, and I'll link that below along with the discount code. And they have some really neat tumblers, and they have some really neat infusers. It's a wonderful company. I actually saw Bristol Palin on Instagram, um, and I'm not even going to get started on her mom, but I saw her with a TME cup or a tumbler just like this. And so, you know, I think a lot of us, a lot of us out there love tea, and the more tea companies I find, you know, I've tested out so many different teas over the past you know, a few years, and I love them all. I really do. Um, and I'm so grateful to try them because, you know, 
there's so many different varieties and so many different flavor enhancers and so many different combinations that you don't always find those in your local grocery store. The majority of these were in the grocery store, but there's some really unique teas out there, and um, these are definitely them. They're more like a detox kind of tea. Again, both safe for pregnancy, and um, they're delicious. And so definitely use the discount code. Try these for yourself. Get yourself one of these amazing tumblers. Like I said, it's got the strainer on top that actually comes out. This comes out as well. Well, it usually does. There we go. So there's the, the empty tumbler. This is where your tea goes and the water. It goes right in here. Your strainer goes on top. Then your lid. Pop it open and you're good to go. And it's, it's a really handy tumbler and not heavy or anything um, and really, really nice. So I hope that if you love tea, you loved this video, feel free to let me know what your favorite teas are below that you're currently drinking or, you know, oldies but goodies that you love. Don't forget to get subscribed so you see more videos. There'll be many more popping up in the coming weeks. I love you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For those of you who love tea, I don't know how you couldn't have because there are so many good teas. I hope maybe you try a few that I shared. And um, definitely follow along on Instagram and on Facebook. If I get any new teas, I'll be sure to post them so you guys know. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.